uh, gentlemen. Uh, Bungle, hope you're doing well, and I hope you're having a great day. Today, we are going over a list of the World War II free-to-play first-person shooter. Much requested, much talked about. Hey, Bungle, we'll talk about the Beretta M31, the Ready Operator Premium Squad for the Axis and the Battle of Kunzia, Battle of Tunisia campaign. Now, if you're watching this video, new viewer, possibly new subscriber. Well, you may be wondering, Bungle, what do you do here? Well, I give you an overview, kind of telling you what are we reviewing today. Next, I talk about the performance. Is it good? Is it bad? And lastly, is it worth it? So without further ado, let's begin. Start off with an overview. All right, so this is a premium squad, which is going for roughly 3,900 enlisted gold. When you go and look in the Battle of Tunisia, Battle of Tunisia campaign, you go look in the logistics tab, you scroll all the way down, and you'll see that this premium squad is there. You can't purchase this through the store. It is only available through enlisted gold. The best methods, best practices, of course, is really just paying 50 bucks for enlisted gold, and then you'll be able to go redeem for the squad and have some extra gold left over. Now, what this squad brings to the table, with really, is you get uh, four radio operators, and you get one engineer, a level two engineer. And we all know level two engineers can do a lot of things in enlisted, such as building gun emplacements, building machine gun nests, building spawn points, etc. So it just adds versatility to the squad. Now moving down to its performance. Really the main highlight here, of course, is the Beretta M31, as well as the radio operator feature. So starting off with the Beretta M31, you basically have six rounds. It is a semi-auto weapon. So basically this adds more lethality to the squad with the aspect that the Beretta M31 isn't a bad weapon at all. Not at all in my opinion. It actually does very well in close quarters, kind of in range engagements. It doesn't really have a drawback of a bolt action rifle where it comes to having to reload every single shot you take. Now, when we talk about the radio operator squad, keep in mind, as long as you have a radio operator alive in your squad, you'll be able to call in artillery every 30 seconds. Of course, if someone has already called an in, you're gonna have to wait until that artillery burst is done, and then you'll be able to go and fire. But basically, have the option to call in indirect fire basically every 30 seconds or so. Just makes it the squad very well rounded and very lethal in my opinion to a lot of other premium squads that are currently in the Battle Tunisia, Battle Tunisia campaign. The aspects of having a very good primary weapon as well as calling an in indirect fire makes the squad very competitive against other premium squads like the FNAB 43 squad, or the other bolt action rifle premium nine trooper squad that is currently in enlisted. This also beats, in my opinion, the motorcycle squad. You basically just have a very strong squad with an engineer that allows you to adjust to the battlefield as needed. So moving down to, is it worth it? In my opinion, yes. This is kind of up there with the very OP premiums that we are currently seeing coming into enlisted. Definitely with this new patch, a lot of the new premium squads have been adding a level two engineer. And having this level two engineer really does increase the performance of a squad just because engineers are actually very, very useful. One, building spawn points can really help turn the tide in a match, especially if there's a deadlock, because it enables your team to spawn in closer to an objective to provide either support with taking it or defending. Calling in artillery every 30 seconds or so is just ridiculous and enough with the firepower of artillery being very strong against infantry can result to a lot of just extra xp you're going to get from killing enemies racking up kills etc so overall my opinion one of the best squads in the game definitely up there with let's say the machine gun bundle in moscow for the lewis gun and the mg13 this in my opinion is probably one of the strongest squads currently in enlisted and the ally counterpart which i will review later is just as strong if not better so that's my two thoughts if you're a new viewer possibly a new subscriber hope today is the day that i earn your subscription have your sub and mash that like button it does help me with youtube algorithm returning sub returning viewer let me know your thoughts other than that i hope you all have a great day take care